welcome to another edition of Kiadini's Kitchen. Video game recipes made real. Or maybe since this week's recipe comes from Overwatch, I should be saying, Hi there. This week we're making peanut butter nachos. So in Overwatch, if you go to the Hollywood map and join the attacking side, you'll start out in a cinema complete with buckets of popcorn, movie posters, and of course, a snack counter. Look to the menu above said counter and you'll see an advert for peanut butter nachos. There's also a banana on the poster, so I think it's safe to assume this is a product aimed at notable peanut butter and banana fancier, Winston. Hi there. Because if you're going to develop and launch an entirely new product line, you may as well make it solely for the only talking scientist gorilla in existence. That's just good business practice. Anyway, as soon as I saw this advert, I knew I had to make it. So, for better or worse, here's everything you'll need to make peanut butter nachos. A bag of tortilla chips, either plain or lightly salted. Peanut butter, crunchy or smooth depending on your preference. A banana and of course some cheese. Now you can go with your gut on this one, cheddar's always good, mozzarella goes stringy which is a nice treat, or you can go with the unholy orange goo that is proper nacho cheese. I personally have gone for a mix of that, and some cheddar. Not really sure how it's going to turn out, but as Winston himself says, imagination is the essence of discovery. Right, so step one, easy enough, just get an oven suitable tray and line it with some tortilla chips. Okay, with that done, it's time to start thinking about the order in which we want our toppings to go. Personally, I think slicing the banana first is a good idea, then peanut butter, and then the cheese on top of that, so you get kind of like a gooey melty layer with the, um, the tortillas and the bananas working together underneath to kind of hold it all together. Really, you can do it in any which way you like, but that's what I'm going to go with, so let's start slicing that banana. Right, so I've got a banana here. Frankly, it's quite massive, uh, so I don't know if I'll use the whole thing, maybe I will, maybe I won't. Uh, it's very ripe either way, which is a good sign, and I'm just going to start, let's lose that bit, slicing this really nice and thin, so we get as much surface area out of the banana as possible. Do be careful with this method, because uh, if you're not careful you might cut your thumb. All right, now it's time for the peanut butter. Why do you have such a big jar of peanut butter, Johnny? Well, it's because everyone who lives in this house kind of loves peanut butter. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure how to spread this on elegantly. Um, I'm guessing just putting it in like sort of blobs and hoping it'll melt in the oven will do it. I could heat it up now and try and spread it on, but to be honest, I'm a bit worried that that would make all the tortillas go sort of gooey before they go in the oven, which would be deeply unpleasant for all concerned. So yeah, I think I'm just going to sort of chuck gobbets of peanut butter on top and just see how that comes out, basically. So here's how we're looking so far, and to be honest, that is probably something I would eat. But with the addition of cheese, who knows how it's going to turn out. So what we're going to do is get the unholy nacho cheese sort of dip goo and put a thin layer of that over everything and then put grated cheese on top of that and bake it all in the oven. nothing. Alright, so that is in a good hot oven. It's at gas mark 7 and the idea is it's going to mean the cheese melts and everything sort of combines before the tortilla chips can go gooey because no one likes soggy nachos. Um, I'm going to give that probably, yeah, about 10 minutes maybe. I'm just going to keep an eye on it to make sure it doesn't burn and then we'll see what we come out with. Okay, so this is uh, peanut butter nachos from Overwatch, to be honest. Um, it looks pretty good and it doesn't smell bad. Um, the peanut butter here is obviously kind of, you know, 
form the skin and ooh, ow, crisped up quite a lot. Um, and this whole thing, to be honest, looks like molten lava. But uh, nonetheless, it's time to give it a go and see what it's like. Okay, so I actually had kind of a hard time getting a bit of everything onto uh, one tortilla chip, but I've just about managed it. So, without any further ado, let's see what peanut butter nachos taste like. That so nearly doesn't work, but it just about does. Um, the thing about having heated up the banana and cooked it in the oven is that the flavor is super intense. Like when it hits, um, like the first thing you get when you put that in your mouth, it's almost like the, the sweet, like, foam banana, like, fake flavouring of banana. It comes through so, so strongly. But then you get the peanut butter and the cheese kind of coming in, and they work well together, obviously, but they start to just sort of cut through that sweetness a bit and mellow it out a little bit. And by the time you finish chewing, it, kind of, it works. It kind of works, I think. I kind of want to try these again. They're out. Okay, so the banana really does retain a lot of heat, by the way. Um, this is like, ow, obscenely hot, ow. It works, it actually works. I can't believe it works, but it does. It, it just works. Um, if I were to do this again, would I do anything different? Um, I'd maybe slice up the banana really, really small and scatter it over the top, like as a, as a topping after it comes out the oven. Um, because, like, as I say, baked, the, uh, the banana kind of turns into mush. And it also is really, really strong. Whereas I think if it was uncooked and chopped up nice and small, it would be kind of like a nice counterpoint to the sort of melty cheese and peanut butter scenario. But apart from that, that went considerably better than I thought it was going to. I'm actually going to have this for lunch. I really didn't think I was going to want to eat this, but I am. I'm going to eat that. So, job done. Nice one, Winston. All right, so thank you very much for joining me on this edition of Chiadini's Kitchen. I feel like I learned a lot this week about nachos and their versatility and where you can put fruit. That came out wrong. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please keep those recipe suggestions coming in. And if you would like to see some more videos from Eurogamer, there should be some framing my face about now. Do like and subscribe if you feel like it, but if not, really, there's no pressure. Either way, thank you for watching and have a lovely day.